how are ya? It is about 10 o'clock. It is Christmas Eve Eve. And this is the Christmas lights from my window. I always think they have so much space that they could do such a better job. I even know last couple years they had like a reindeer. But it's kind of whack. I don't know what to tell you. But I just wanted to share the little lights from my um, kitchen window. And I got a whole bunch of Christmassy stuff out here in my kitchen. I mean, you think it's I'm decorated enough in my kitchen or what? I got that. I got my little Santa seat cover. I got all this stuff. And this is the piece de resistance. It is my beautiful popcorn machine that my husband had brought, I think it was last year. And then he just bought us this, this little like contraption here to hold all our stuff because it, we needed it bad. Um, there wasn't enough room for anything. Anyway, tomorrow morning, I am going to be making a video. It's like a little vlog video, just from my house. Um, just things that, um, my plans for my next series of videos. Um, I am planning my next giveaway. Um, and I'll, t I don't even know what I'm giving away, but I'll talk about that tomorrow. And what else? I had some other things. Oh, yeah, things I wanted to manifest in the year 2020. Um, I don't make, like, New Year's resolutions. I personally think they're not helpful. I think that you can, like, kind of be like, oh, I want to do this, and then you kind of don't do it. Let's say losing weight or stop smoking, stuff like that, right? Then you feel bad about yourself. So for me, it just I just want to manifest certain things in 2020. Yeah, I like video ideas. Um, I have really great video ideas. So I will be talking about that tomorrow morning. And I just want to wish everyone a good night. It is Christmas Eve Eve. And these are some sorry ASS uh, uh, lights. I mean, they could have did a better job. I don't know. Anyway, lazy. But, I mean, look at all the space they have down there, right? Anyway, guys, have a wonderful night. I will see you in the morning. I'm excited. And I will see you in the morning. Bye. Hey, guys, I am back. How are you? It is the next day. And I just wanted to share, <clears throat> sorry, two quick things with you. I uh, couldn't sleep last night. So I painted, and here, this is a canvas board. These canvas boards are really good because there's a lot of paint on here, and it did not warp at all. Um, this is the Artist Loft uh, Premixed, and the silicone I used, um, this is a swipe technique, and uh, the silicone I used was actually Pouring Masters, the silicone that it came in that kit. This silicone is really good. I love this. I love this technique. I love making cells this way. I think this is like super awesome. I love these colors. I really need to invest in getting more of this artist loaf paint because I really do love it. It's like no bubbles, no cracks. Um, it's just a little expensive and it's really hard to get. But I have to say though, um, I bought a lot of it because it was on sale. And it lasted, like the 16 ounce uh, bottle of it actually uh, lasted quite a long time. Also, I think I was like saving it because it's hard to get. I can't find them. Like in my two Michaels, it's really um, hard to find the two Michaels that are near me. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. And then this is how, this is kind of a cheat because <laughs> I add, this is the um, James Charles palette uh, inspired, the second part of it, with all the metallics. I'll link that video of me making this um, right here. 
I actually coat it with one coat of resin. I also this is the first thing I did last night around well morning. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, so it did have texture, but I don't know. There was something that I loved about it. Still, you see the cracks in it. It could be the Arteza uh, paint. I don't know what caused it. But, you know, like I said, I love texture. I think it still came out pretty cool. And I just felt like this bad boy needed to be resined. And also, this is only a 6x6 six six inch. And um, I want to practice doing resin because this is literally the second time I've ever resined anything. Um, yes, yeah, so I want to like, practice on something small because really you need to, if you've never resined anything before, you should really, really, really start off small uh, because, you know, until you get used to kind of using um, the resin, it's not an easy thing to do. So it's a lot of mixing involved. There's a lot of temperature situations going on. All right. So the rest of this video, um, I don't know where I'm going to take it, but you'll be seeing my face today. And I have, where is it? I have a whole list of things I wanted to talk about. Really four different topics, I think. Here's my little list. Hold on. On this beautiful gold sheet of paper, I have all this I want to talk about. Um, it's not a script. I don't do scripts. Um, just things that I didn't want to forget to talk about. All right. So, actually, I'm going to say the first thing now, um, and which is just wishing everyone a beautiful holiday. Um, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, you know, I wish you, if you celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, or if you don't celebrate anything at all, I just want to wish you guys a beautiful, beautiful day, a happy holiday if you do celebrate, whatever one that you do celebrate. I just want to wish you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful time with your family or your friends. You know, whatever you're doing today and tomorrow, I'm just sending all the love from New York. And yeah, that's it. I'll be spending my time with my family. And we're just chilling out today. And I'll be baking some um, little Christmas cupcakes. And what I mean by baking, I mean Betty Crocker. <laughs> I don't bake, um, but it's just fun for me. So anyway, so I will be back later, guys. I'm going to go and get myself ready for the day. And um, uh, yeah, my husband used up all the eggs and didn't tell me. So I have to go out and get eggs because I really want to make these little uh, cupcakes for the family and for myself. I like doing it. I like decorating. Okie dokie. So that's how that dried. And I will be back in a little while. All right. See you later. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am back. How is everyone today? I'm using my little selfie stick. Hope you could hear me. I got my mic on. I got my husband's hat. I stole it because I love it. It is awesome. I'm just giving you a little view today, a little different view. So I want to wish everyone a very happy holiday again. And I have some things I wanted to talk about. Um, let me bring you over here for a second. I want to get my little golden sheet. Like I said, it's not a script. It was a stuff that I had written down so I wouldn't forget what I wanted to say. Right, so. Um, about the chakra paintings that I've been doing, um, the series. So I had an idea. I'm still waiting for um, Stacy Nicole to do her thing. But in the meantime, I was coming up with ideas um, for what to do for the actual project. And I was originally going to use some of these uh, big canvases. I don't know if you can see that. Where are they? There, back there. Anyway, huge canvases. I was going to do them like in multiple, um, use multiple canvases and like it's somehow attached to little chakra paintings. And I'll link the videos up here um, if you're interested in watching the chakra paintings. Um, the video is me making um, each, indi each individual um, 
painting that went with each individual chakra. So I'm doing a collab with Stacy Nicole from Artsy Fartsy Lovers, if you don't know. So basically, you know, she's doing her thing right now. Um, and I was kind of thinking of uh, ideas of what to do after on my end. And I'm thinking about getting a, going to Home Depot, getting like a huge piece. I'm going to measure everything out because I know exactly, you know, what size of the paintings are. And I am going to get like one big piece of wood, maybe like an inch or so thick and like have them like maybe drill holes in it so that um, I can like hang it. And um, I was thinking of some cool ideas of like what to like paint on the wood. I'm thinking more of like a glow because of the chakras. I just like kind of have like that feeling of like light. So I'm thinking of like gold and like metallic white. So that's my um, ideas about that project. But that will become it because I have to go to um, Home Depot, so maybe I'll do a video of me going to Home Depot, maybe getting some more flow troll. There's a, um, the Michaels is not too far away from there, so maybe I'll do like a whole video of that. Now, what else do I have here? Do, 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 do. Oh, yes, so I have, if you could see this awesome lantern, and I, ha I am, if you don't know, Actually, my favorite, favorite holiday is coming up. It is not Christmas, it's not New Year's Eve, it's Lunar New Year. This is by far my, I just get so excited. Um, I am actually a, um, a metal dog. Yeah, I'll show you. My little, it's not the year of the dog, this year's the year of the pig. This is my doggy. And I have a whole bunch of um, Lunar New Year decorations. I have them up all year. My son can't stand it anymore, my uh, lantern, but I love it. Um, I get so excited. This year's the year of the rat. So I have a really great idea to do um, a whole series of paintings that um, are inspired by Lunar New Year, the year of the rat. I'm going to find some information about the, you know, the rat and that's and that uh, zodiac, Chinese zodiac sign. So I'm going to do that. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of gold and red and I'm sorry, noise outside. Um, so I am going to do that. And um, let's see what else. Oh, yes, I'm going to do vlogs. Um, there's the firecracker um, celebration that kind of starts it all off and um, there's also the uh, Lunar New Year Parade in Manhattan. There's also one in Flushing Queens, but that one is kind of boring. So me and my friend Sonia, hey Sonia, I'm shouting you out girl. Um, we have been going for the last couple of years to the parade in um, Manhattan. So we're going to, oh, she better, if she don't come, she will, because she loves to celebrate different cultures and the food, and we love to go out. We have a lot of uh, fun together, so we are probably going to do this again this year, and I cannot wait. I am so excited. This is like my favorite holiday. I don't know what it is, the colors, just the, the tradition behind it. Um, I just love it. So this is some more of my... There's my piggy. This is the year of the pig. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, so I get really excited. I get all the candies and I give out all the red envelopes and I just have a ball. So, and I, what I want to do is also, yeah, I'm just looking at my little list of things I want to talk about. I want to maybe talk about the the Chinese uh, zodiac signs, what each of them mean. Um, like I said, I'm a metal dog because each zodiac um, goes with an element. So uh, that's my sign. Um, I forgot, what is it? I think it's a metal rat this year. I'm not sure, but I'm almost positive I just read about it. But it is the year of the rat. Um, yes, so I'm going to do a vlog on the firecracker ceremony, the parade, and I can't wait for that because, uh, you know, this is a new year for me. And um, I've never done vlogging before until now, so I'm really excited to like share with you the parade and all that. And what else do I want to talk about? Yes. 
Okay, so my last, um, my last thing I wanted to talk about today, besides wishing everyone a happy holiday yet again, um, like I said, if you don't celebrate Christmas or any of that kind of stuff, you know, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, if you don't celebrate anything, just like I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and enjoy your family and just take the time to do something nice for yourself and your family, you know, just have a beautiful day. Um, yes, but oh yeah, <clears throat> I want to talk about a giveaway I'm thinking of doing. Um, uh, then my next giveaway is going to be at 300 um, subscribers. So I'm going to think about what I actually want to give away. It may very well be um, like the Lunar New Year inspired stuff because I already have some stuff that I want to buy, some more decorations. I have tons in the corner over there of like Lunar New Year decorations. So I'm thinking about like maybe doing a giveaway like inspired by that. I'm so excited for it. Um, yeah, so that's the giveaway. I, that that would be part of it. I'll probably give away a painting, you know me, if, if you've won, I've done two uh, giveaways so far. So if you know me, I go all out. Um, and I like to take my time and just like collect stuff. Um, there'll probably be some crafty stuff in there. If you guys have any ideas of what you would like to be in the giveaway, just, you know, listen down below, okay? Let's see what else. Yeah, so that's the giveaway. And I wanted to talk about, the last thing I wanted to talk about today, because it is, you know, uh, the holidays and, you know, regular New Year is coming. And like I said, I don't do resolutions or anything. I want to talk about the things I want to manifest for myself this year. And this has been a year for me uh, first. Uh, first time I've ever had a YouTube channel. And I am absolutely loving it, and I really appreciate you guys and your support and just communicating with you. So, like, one of my things I want to manifest this year is things to kind of, like, help grow my channel and, you know, make the video quality better, make the sound better. So, um... I want to manifest a laptop. Um, I do have a desktop, but it's not hooked up right now. Um, and I'll talk about that. Um, you know, so I want to get a really, uh, like a, a new camera that I could use with my laptop, stuff like that. So I want to manifest that. And then I want to manifest um, because, you know, I believe at a thousand subscribers, let's say I can't get the computer right away. You know, um, it's not about the numbers and all that kind of stuff. It's about, hold on one second, I'll be right back. Hey guys, sorry. Um, my I had to stop the recording real quick. My husband was actually working today. And um, I had to stop the recording because he immediately came into the room and started talking to me. So, sorry about that. Um, so... What was I talking about? I talked about ideas for videos, um, about Lunar New Year, how excited I was. Um, I was also talking about what things I wanted to manifest, which was the last thing I wanted to talk about. And yeah, I wanted to get a laptop. I wanted to get, you know, a camera, you know, little, not little things. That's actually a big thing for me. Um, and it would also help my son too with a laptop, right? So, yeah, I wanted to grow my channel because, um, you know, I want to connect more with you guys. Um, I believe, and that's another thing I want to manifest, um, I want to manifest like a thousand subscribers and not because, again, it's like, it's not about the numbers, you know, because to me, each subscriber is obviously a person. So, you know, I, I hate talking about oh, 1,000 subscribers. You know, no, it's because out of 1,000 subscribers, you can actually do more on YouTube. You can, um, you know, you can, I, I believe out of 1,000 subscribers, you could have a community page. And I want to, like, you know, post little things to you guys. Maybe do little, uh, what is it called, uh, polls and stuff, you know, like... Uh, a little painting I'm working on, not necessarily always like doing a whole video, but just like, you know, shouting you guys out, doing a little posts. So that's like more connecting with you. 
um, and also at a thousand subscribers. For some reason, like you could, I could do it now from a computer, but um, to do live streaming on your phone, you need a thousand subscribers. So that is weird to me that you need all that. But then, like right now, I can do it from a, from a computer, which is weird. Anyway, uh, YouTube is weird. Um, so, hi, how are you? How you doing? Um, anyway, sorry, one of my neighbors, uh, new, new neighbors, want to say hi. Um, yeah, so, I want to do some live stuff with you guys as well. I, I just basically want to, like, really connect with you. Um, I have a great community, very diverse, not only in, like, nationalities, but also what you guys do out there. You guys just, um, you, I, you know, cooking channels, exercise channels. I love this one channel. Um, oh, my God. He's wonderful. You know who I'm talking about? I think his name is Glenn Page. I think that's his last name, but I think his first name is Glenn. Awesome. If I remember, I'm going to find his uh, channel and link it below. So much fun. I love it. He does like really cool cooking um, uh, videos and exercise videos. He's amazing. Um, you know, uh, tattoo artists, uh, just like all different types of art, crafters, and people who do sewing. Just like I love the diversity of my community. I think it's beautiful and I think uh, we can, you know, learn from each other. I know one of the cooking channels that I watch, um, it makes me want to like try these recipes. So, you know, and a couple of you have like uh, said to me, you know, you really like my videos, you want to learn what I do. So that's like why I want to grow my channel. I want to um, just learn from more from you guys more. I want to just learn more things in general. Um, and this year is really big for me as well because this year I am going to be 50, big 5-0. I can't believe it. I look in the mirror. I'm looking at this camera now. I don't see a 50-year-old woman, uh, almost, but I am going to be 50, so it's a huge year for me, um, and I actually look forward to my birthday. I don't have an issue with, like, numbers and stuff. I think it's pretty cool that I've lived on this earth this long and actually made it, um, but yeah, this year was the year first for me, 2019, um, just like really going a hundred percent in, um, fully owning myself and what I do, that I'm an artist is owning it and living it. And I think it's a wonderful thing. So basically I just want to manifest more of that, that feeling, um, just going like 110% what I do on my channel, coming up with great ideas for you guys, and yeah, just experimenting, experimenting more with like different paints and all kinds of stuff. So that's what I want to uh, manifest this year, and I'm really looking forward to it, and oops, I almost got this guy. Um, yeah, I really am looking forward to this year coming. I said I'm looking forward to Lunar New Year celebration. It is literally my favorite holiday. So I'm going to be doing a whole series of paintings doing uh, that. Just like I'll come up with different things all the time. Uh, maybe, you know, with firecrackers. Who knows? I'll come up with something really cool. Uh, I actually have some cool ideas uh you know, coming up in my head. I don't want to expose it all. And, uh, oh yeah, there's other things I want to do, like more unboxings with um, different art supplies too. So all these types of things are coming up in the year ahead. And I guess that's it, guys, for today. Um, it is Christmas Eve 2019. And I just want to wish everyone a very, very happy holiday. Like I said, it is so loud out here. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. And, yeah, I keep on beeping. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, anyway, so whatever you celebrate, like I said, if you don't celebrate, I just hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone out there who does celebrate. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. I know that's coming, I think, after uh, Christmas usually. So I just want to wish everyone the happiest of holidays. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.